Welcome to Chess, ladies and gentlemen. All right, man, you know what? I'm sitting here. I'm enjoying my Astros game because so far they are winning three uh, to two. You know, for those Yankees fans out there, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I apologize to you. <laughs> but uh, I came across this story, man. Uh, Hans Neiman is suing Chess.com, Magnus Carlsen, and Hikaru Nakamura for $100 million. If you have not heard, that's what's going on. So, you know, of course, all my people in the Philippines, I'll say my buhai, magandang umaga to you. You know, it is super morning. Anybody else from around the world, appreciate you very much for coming by. But, man, just when you think the story couldn't get any crazier, he's like, I'm going to hit y'all for a $100 million. I'm trying to understand. Sometimes you see these, like, you see these lawsuits, and you're thinking, how in the world did you come up with this much money? Now, you guys have heard me talk before. I got plenty of videos talking about Hans Neiman, about how everybody kind of, you know, kind of crucifying him a little bit. Uh, and, you know, kind of, you know, they should give him a little chance. And, you know, they haven't proved that he's cheated and stuff like that. And when Magnus Carlsen came out with his statement that he did, you know, I was like, nah, man, you know, that wasn't even it. That ain't the way to go about it. And I'm going to have to agree with you. I'm going to have to say about this. This ain't really the way either. Because I'm like, what? <laughs> Why are you trying to get $100 million, bro? Like, so, okay, I get it. They defamed you. You know, you got kind of messed up. I get it. You know, you want to kind of recoup some of your losses, maybe. Eh, 100000 150000 200000 But $100 million, though? No. Mm -mm. No. So, even though I have been on Team Hans Neiman, as far as the tournament is concerned, you know, Sinkfield Cup and all that stuff like that, but as far as this is concerned, I can't be, which, I can't be on your team with this one, dog. So, I'm going to guess I'm going to be the one that's going to be on the other side of that. I mean, $100 million, bro. That's that's just a lot of money, man. Um, I don't know what all three of those entities, humans, could have done uh, to have made it to where you feel like you lost out on $100 million. I mean, you could probably combine all the chess players who've ever lived, and they haven't even equaled up and made $100 million already. So, that's like the whole history of chess for like 100 and what, 100 40 years, 170 years, whatever. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I don't I don't believe this is the right way he needs to go about trying to do something about something. He can sue the people, for sure, for the defamation and all that stuff. But it's like, I mean, come up with a reasonable number, my dude. Uh, it showed, it was saying that uh, for some reason, Chess.com is trying to buy the Play Magnus app, I guess, to get rid of him as a competitor or whatever the situation is. Uh, and he And that's supposed to be like 83 million or something like that. So that's, I guess, how he came up with the number. Just because they're trying to buy him for $83 million doesn't mean that you should get $100 million. So I, I don't think this does anything positive for the situation. Um, I feel like him just continuing on and, and playing uh, and, uh, you know, showing that he's a real 100% player uh, over the board uh, was what he should have just kept doing. Like I said, the lawsuit, that's cool if you want to lawsuit the situation, uh, you know, but not for, not for no $100 million, dude. Uh, let's come up with a more reasonable number. Uh, you know, let's not be like super loud about, you know, the particular lawsuit. And then I don't know if you guys have seen his attorneys, his, his attorneys look like mafia hitman. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I don't know where he found these attorneys at. It's like two brothers and it's like, they're in suits and slick bag and everything. It looks like something from Grand Theft Auto. But like I said, I don't really feel like this is the right step. Um, I feel like this is, you know, kind of, I don't think it's as damaging as what Magnus Carlson you know, kind of did the way he didn't really help the situation at all. Um, but I can understand the defamation thing. I can understand that, you know, like they definitely have kind of dragged him through the mud a little bit. And he's saying he can't get coaching and stuff like that. Like I get that part. Uh, so it actually makes some sense, but not for no hundred million, dude. Like I said, man. I'm not going to really say a whole bunch else about it. Um, I just came across it a minute ago, so I figured I'd hop on and just mention a little something, something about it. Uh, but uh, I think that, um, you know, he definitely needs to reduce that amount. Um, I don't know why it's $100 million. I mean, I even think $1 million would be kind of a stretch because chess players just don't make that kind of money, man, unless you're Magnus Carlsen. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. I came across I'm not sure if you guys uh, came across it at some point, but I just figured I'd go ahead and, you know, say my little two cents on it. Uh, like I said, I'm still not for, you know, accusing Hans Neiman of cheating uh, when it's not proven that he cheated, uh, you know, but I'm also not for him kind of, you know, doing this, you know, uh, exaggerated amount that he's trying to, you know, $100 million, that's just, that's really ridiculous, man. He need to come down off of that. 
that's kind of something a 19 year old would do try to get a hundred million dollars like from somebody so you need to forget that uh but uh yeah that's all i have man for you guys but i got my new hat in i mean let me know what you think uh you know it has the old the old astro symbol on it so that's why i like it pretty much so you know the game is still three two two so hopefully we hold that lead and we get a nice two and oh situation uh but uh, i appreciate you guys very much for stopping by and i'm gonna see you guys next time